What do you want? I'm looking for the Teller Institute. I'm sorry, I think I've got the wrong address. Let me guess. Your kid keeps climbing a cell tower. Mr. Teller, my character, is a, an extraordinary man because he has had certain experiences that normal people don't have. And that's because primarily of the research he does and that dwells in the abnormal. Mr. Bum, your son is one of those kids. He, he discovered the Fibonacci sequence on his own. What? Professor Teller was somebody who had come up with the or original concept and the original theories that there were these special people out there who had these unique abilities to see the patterns in the world. There are those among us, mostly kids, whose sole purpose is to act as air traffic controllers for that interconnectivity. Because that theory sounded a little uh, strange in the academic world, he was soon discredited. And so when we find him and we drop into Teller's life, he is a man who has seen his the former glory of his academic life now gone away. But when Martin comes to him with the idea that his son might be one of these people, um, it reignites Teller and in a sense allows for a redemption story for this professor who seems to have lost everything. The universe is made up of precise ratios and patterns all around us. You and I, we don't see them, but if we could, life would be magical beyond our wildest dreams. And to be able to work with someone like Danny Glover, who I've just been such a huge fan of for so long, has been fantastic. Every action, every breath, every conscious thought connected. Imagine the unspeakable beauty of the universe he sees. No wonder he doesn't talk. My son sees all that. He is someone who thinks out of the box, someone who challenges conventional thinking. But what he sees, he's just at the crest of it, of being able to touch it, you know? But a lot of what he's able to touch is something beyond our own eyesight or beyond our own physical capacity to do. Your son sees everything. He sees how it's all connected. 